AITA for telling my husband he and his mother ruined our wedding day for me. Trigger warnings, internalized fat phobia, depression, miscarriage, parental death. I, 35F, got married to my husband, M41, recently. Neither of us liked the spotlight so agreed on a small event. The only thing I was firm about was I didn't want photos. My self-esteem is in the toilet. In the last 18 months I have put on weight. I am not looking to make excuses but there are some reasons why. 1. In the last 18 months I have lost both my parents and my grandmother. I have lost two jobs and had a miscarriage. Depression has hit me hard at times and I have been comfortable eating. 2. I was put on a new medication and weight gain is a side effect. 3. About a year ago I broke my left ankle badly. I have had three surgeries to date, the last one was 10 days before the wedding. I can't walk without pain. I really didn't want photos that would remind me of the fact I am now fat. Few weeks before the wedding my mother-in-law is talking about going to a local beauty spot for photos. I say no thank you and that yes I am being serious. My husband hears this and later that night I say again I really don't want photos and he says that is fine with him. Week before the wedding I am having the same conversation with MIL and my husband. Day of the wedding my FIL and MIL pick us up. I am no longer able to drive as I can't move my ankle. We get the whole legal shindig done and as we are going back to the car MIL again says let's go to the beauty spot for photos. I again so no but she tells FIL to drive there and my husband just sits there that I know I gave him, the look, but total silence. Long story short the photos are taken and we head back. In the car driving home my MIL starts showing me the photos and I hate myself in them. I look like a pile of fat shit. I look ridiculous in a dress with a medical boot and I can't stop the tears rolling down my cheeks. This upsets my mother-in-law and there is an atmosphere the whole rest of the day. I really tried to move on, but I had to get out of that stupid dress and all I really just wanted to hide away. Privately I told my husband he and his mother ruined our wedding day for me because all I can think of is those pictures. He said he didn't realize I was so serious about no photos, that it's only for his mom to keep and that he thinks I look beautiful. I told him that not 30 minutes into our marriage he totally let me down and I don't know if I am beyond hurt or furious. He said I was being ridiculous and that I let him down by making such a fuss over a normal part of weddings. He also said I had hurt his mother, she has some mental health issues and has been obsessing over me crying on my wedding day, and that I need to reassure her she hasn't done anything wrong. I told him no and there will be serious problems if he tries telling her otherwise because as far as I am concerned they both totally ignored my one request and that was unacceptable. He thinks I am being a totally unreasonable AH. Some of OP's comments. What if he wanted photos? He told me multiple times he was fine with no photos during our conversations about it before the wedding. I have to take what he says at face value. And I sucked it up and let them take the photos. I tried to not cry in the car after. I tried to carry on with the day. I tried to make everybody happy despite the fact I am not. Commenter, info did you really want to get married? It sounds a bit like you hated the whole thing and forced yourself. Why? OP, we both agreed we want a marriage not a wedding. We wanted a nice day but not all the fanfare and expectations. Mini update from OP in comments. I was ready to be told I was an unreasonable AH about photos. But to be told I shouldn't have got married by so many people has crushed me. We have been together for 9 years and were planning this wedding well before my life went to shit. We have been through so much and I love him and his family dearly. This is the first time anything like this has happened. We both wanted to get married and it was always going to be a small courthouse event. We both agreed that weddings were silly events and we didn't want a big fuss. We talked. We talked about everything and as far as I knew agreed on everything. He never once before, during or after said he wanted photos. He has done nothing but tell me he doesn't really care about having them. If everyone says, what about his day, is right. How was I supposed to know if he never said that? All the information I had told me he was happy. I thought we could have a good day and find some happiness in what has been a lot of darkness. I just had one ask for the day. Are we not allowed to try and make happiness because I am broken? I wanted to make everybody happy and I tried despite how I felt. After the legal stuff and the photos I spent the rest of the day hosting the family, getting tea coffees, making dinner for everyone trying to make the day nice. I wanted a happy day. I just didn't want to be in the spotlight. I didn't think I had to be in order to be married. OP explained some of her grief. Thank you. My parents were difficult, they both had issues that ultimately lead to their deaths and it feels like that has supercharged the grief. I don't know. I have now lost every single person biologically connected to me now and it is a lot of emotions. I eat too much. Yes it's comfort eating but also before I broke my ankle I was a marathon runner. 
I would easily clock over 70 kilometers a week. I am used to fueling my body, not restricting it. I never had to think before. Add in the quality of food dropping from home cooked to more takeout convenience and medication causing weight gain and I am not sure I stood a chance. Top comments on post. Why did you get out of the car at the beauty spot? I'd have sat there until everyone gave up. NTA. Bulldozer Mill deserves all the bad feelings she's feeling. She done fucked up, putting her selfish wants ahead of the brides. Comment. Why did you get married right now? What was pressing? You don't seem enthused to be getting married. It sounds like you're dealing with depression on top of your physical health concerns. So why get married in a dress you do not like, in a surgical boot, 10 days after surgery? That's the reason you didn't want pics. Because you didn't want to get married. OP is voted NTA, but comments are very very heavily mixed. Update, same post, next day. With all the comments saying I disregarded my husband's wishes on his wedding day I asked him directly, did you want those photos and just said you didn't to appease me? Before you all pile on, again, there is no reason he would not answer truthfully. He replied that he did not care about the photos MIL took in the woods. He said having seen them they are objectively bad, he clarified poorly taken on a shitty phone, not something he would want to keep and not worth the distress caused. He said the only photo he would want was one of the look on my face staring up at him when we said the, I dose. He joked that he should have strapped a GoPro to his forehead to capture that but he doesn't need a photo to remember it. I would not have been against that idea because it would have been private between us. He cannot give a reason for being silent in the car. MIL has a severe mental disorder and I believe there is fear around setting her off on a spiral. I explained how ambushed I felt and that I only got out of the car to try and keep the peace. That really upset him. He apologized for not speaking up. I think he understands the main issues were not being supported and feeling helpless. Everybody saying I should have not got out, I am sure you would call me the AH for throwing a childish tantrum refusing to leave the car if I post that scenario. I was in a lose-lose situation. I apologized for letting my insecurities become part of our marriage. He hadn't realized just how deep my issues run. I am guilty of putting on a brave face so I can't blame him for that. We don't want any drama. I am not going to hold a grudge against him IL. This is the first time there has ever been an issue like this in our family. Husband will talk to her but not about my insecurities. He suggested asking her to delete the photos but I said we both know he would have to die on that hill. We are going to move past the whole thing. However, I don't know what to do if she makes them public. We both agree that what matters is our nine-year-long relationship that is now a marriage and not a single day where some papers were signed. I am sure that comment is going to upset a lot of people who feel a wedding day should be a magical life-changing event but it is how we view our lives together, nothing to do with your feelings. I wouldn't put our relationship slash marriage on hold because times are tough so why would I put this one day off? We are not American and marriage is not such a big deal here. Many couples never marry and that is very normal. Since before everything happened our main reason for getting married was so I could legally use his protected surname. This is why we just went to the registry office and there were eight people in attendance. I apologize for my fat phobic language. Growing up in the 90s with a mother with an ED has clearly had an effect on how I view bodies and I need to work on that. I have had counseling for feelings around my loss of mobility which has naturally touched on the other issues in my life but I am going to speak to my doctor about more specialized grief counseling going forward. Some of OP's comments. One more thought from OP as to why she wanted to be married. I have given an update but as a more complete answer to you. I wanted to be a family with him. I could only legally use his protected surname if I married him or got everybody in the country with that surname to agree to me using his her name. I have had my entire biological family taken from me, I want society, the law, history I don't know to recognize my family which is my husband and I, and the dogs. I have lost my mobility and my freedom with it. Not being able to walk or drive let alone run which was my hobby. I have to rely on others so much now when I was the one people relied on before. Why should I also give up the day I planned on being married, my grandmother's birthday? Commenter, why is his surname, protected, what does that mean? OP, that it is rare so realistically you need to marry into the name to be able to use it. Commenter, this is hard for me to decide. Because you have a right to say no to the pictures but pictures aren't really for you. My brother didn't like pictures taken off him very often. Now he's dead. I would love to have more pictures. I get so excited when I can find one with him in the background. Same with one of my grandmas. Pictures aren't so much for us but others. I've learned if someone wants a picture of me, I almost always say yes now. OP, I can see your point. But these are poor quality photos that were not just for my mother-in-law because she waved them right in front of my face in the car momenta after they were taken. After I had said number three times. 
which caused me to start crying. People seemed to assume I threw some sort of fit but I just sat there desperately trying to stop the tears in my eyes. I didn't do anything else. I couldn't do anything else at that point. Editor's note, a ton of OP's comments were responding to people telling her that she should have asked her husband slash maybe her husband was lying slash she disregarded his wishes slash etc. I didn't include all of them because frankly it got repetitive and frustrating, so I included only the first couple. But I wanted to highlight this fact because in her update she mentioned all of the comments saying she disregarded his wishes.